unprompted introduction um today we're going to talk about um the recent festival we've been having um last month and um i was part of the organized per people and the management uh, committee and the managing management committee um so we're gonna gonna talk about like how hard it was doing it but also um how easy it can be to be a manager at a festival how easy it can be it can be all right let's um so what 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 was easy about it? um so some of the things were quite easy so um i suppose maybe, maybe we should start by saying just what what did you do because you've done you did loads in this festival so i did uh, the management team I've also did a a video on the cooking where you can um see that on our website at out the box something I can't remember what the <laughs> we'll, website we'll put a link called. in we'll put a link in yeah for that um but I did that and then I've also a couple of weeks yeah last week and the week before I've been we've been finishing off um some of the audio bites for like in between um, the um, well, it's kind of like we had a timetable, didn't we? Yes. So it, it, and then we had uh, so you know, um, I suppose a, like mini events throughout the day, and then we had a a bit of story narrative that goes all the way through the day, and Joe was narrating the whole day. Yeah, which hurt my voice a bit a little bit but luckily i had a bit of water so that was good <laughs> it was quite an impressive yeah. narrator's voice wasn't it <laughs> um, um yeah all right so you did so you did loads of things so should we start should we start with the the management stuff then so what did you do so uh, we me rachel and abby uh managed uh kind of the whole uh festival so talking to people about um the videos and deadlines also advertising it um we also um kept um the tuesday team up to date um on how the festival was going things like that really so we did that but also um we just had a chat about on some of the days we did do it um we had a chat about um what needed to do, what we needed to do, and what needs, what we needed to do later on, because obviously... It's almost like trying to break it down. Yeah, because um, we needed it done by um, 29th, which is today, today. when yeah. we're doing the podcast. As we're recording, the festival's going on right now. Yeah. So we're sort of between Abby's aerobics and the lunch session, I think. No, uh, we'll be... Do- oh, is it you're cooking with Joe? No, be cooking with me. Oh, now so, we're talking with Joe yeah. instead. <laughs> so, um, other things was um, we... Um, ooh, um, we also talked about... Um, Think. <laughs> so suppose so setting. So how how did you find doing things like setting setting deadlines for people? Um, some like of that? it was quite easy because uh, quite a lot of the people at Turning Tides are quite prompt. Um, it was quite hard because we also had other things going on. So uh, other people had like their one to ones with people, um, and there were I don't think. There might have been other projects going on, things like that. So we had to kind of just say to people, 
sorry, can you stop that? Or do you have time to do something uh, for the festival? As um, we only had a couple of weeks, really. Oh, we've been doing it for a long time. We've been doing it for a long time, but um, editing takes a long time. Yeah. Because we've, I, I, we've got quite a lot of things. So we've got like music, um, cooking, loads of different things. So I suppose you had to go right from the very beginning, wouldn't it? Even yeah. coming up with the idea of... What the logo looked like. And uh, the festival itself. And the festival itself. Because um, as everyone knows... A festival has to be probably have a kind of like a timeline mm-hmm. kind of sort of thing, because yeah, yeah. otherwise people won't know what's going on. So that's true. Um, but with ours, because it's in uh, this year, um, all of our stuff is online, and hopefully, fingers crossed, next year we'll have a official real festival at. Uh, turning tides. That'd be great. Do you it think that's to be, be harder or um, easier than a, an online? It'd festival? be interesting because um, depending on how it is next year or or the year um, after, it um, it can be harder because you have to organise people to actually be there probably on the day because most of the things have to be live. Yeah. Most likely, unless we're doing it on a couple of days, because um, we the the festival we did this year is only one day, so yeah, we might be like um some other festivals like Glastonbury that does like a couple of days. Or <laughs> well, you want to do like a full full weekend? Well, we could. I don't <laughs> know. Um, I like your plan. I like your ambition. But hopefully that could happen. So uh, we've got that, and then I guess it would be hard because you have to organise maybe like bands and maybe food places. I don't know stuff like that really. That's true. So it's a bit more organisation, but as ours is a virtual festival, we uh, luckily could do um, pre-record. So I pre-recorded um, my cooking in August. Um, some other people, like Abby's aerobics, um, she did it this morning. Mm-hmm. So um, that's good. But um, most of it was pre-recorded as quite a lot of people were busy on the day. So yeah. hopefully if we do a real, or if we do official festival, which isn't virtual, Hopefully we'll have enough people to um, have yeah just there. to be there, won't they? Cause, yeah. um, so that'll be interesting. So. Yeah, that would be interesting. So do you want to talk a bit about your um, so your, your actual cooking section then? So what? Why do you do a cooking section? What what? Well, if people haven't seen it yet, what what is your cooking section of the festival? So uh, the story goes that. Um, Tarragon, one of our dragons at Turning Tides, meets his cousin, Ostinato, in Puglio. Puglio. In Italy. In Italy. Um, And um, uh, (laughs) persuades him to come over here. And they um, have a kind of adventure, so um, you can hear all about that in the festival bites. But um, one of their things was... um, they were a bit hungry and um we know that uh tarragon doesn't like vegan cheese because uh all our dragons here are vegan so um this all sounds ridiculous if you don't know the story yeah (laughs) um but your actual cooking section then so um we didn't do pizza which was like so we did a tallying dish so we did um just a vegetarian spaghetti so um we um, chopped some up, some veg, and that was mostly it. But also, um, we also talked about like lockdown in general, but also about cooking because, uh, as uh, the viewers know, um, at lockdown, quite a lot of things you used to buy were a bit harder. So, for example, um, oh, so what, a bit harder milk, to find them? milk and bread. 
but also um, for me it was trying to find coconut milk for my curry so it, it was very interesting that some of those things disappeared out of the um, supermarket. You couldn't find it. No. You couldn't find it anywhere. Which was interesting. So we talked about that, but also talked about um, how interesting it was because obviously people have to improvise about cooking um, in lockdown because. True. So sort of finding whatever you finding what stuff from you your got. cupboards and other things. Yeah. Just checking that really because obviously we had that time where we could only go out like once a day. Mm. So um, we had to kind of be um, smart about it. Yeah. And you found most of your did you your ingredients for the dish? So um, at... luckily we've we've got a um, garden at. Turning Tides called um, Four Meals, so um, we got some of our produce, so I think we got the courgettes, yeah. uh, chard, yeah. and a couple of other things. Did you use any of the tomatoes? Um, yeah. I don't think we did yet, Not because yet. that was later in the year, Yeah. But um, so we did that, but also um, we just talked about lockdown in general, how we've... Uh, coped with it so yeah. that was really interesting because obviously we heard from tom who's one of the staff here about his lockdown and obviously i don't uh, uh people might not know but um turning tides has kind of still been going um through lockdown so um we've had our sessions every week still on zoom mm. We're still doing it now, so... Um, I think that was a lot of the inspiration for the festival itself, wasn't it? As yeah, well? learning, so. just learning about different ways, because at the start, everyone didn't know how to do these Zooms and other things and virtuality. Yeah, so that's been a big learning curve, though, isn't it? Um, so but some, uh, I also did um, the little sound bites, so... Um, yeah, that was interesting. That it? was interesting because um, I wanted to sound like one of those characters from like those trailers and doing oh. like a low voice. Like a big imposing kind of yeah. mysterious. Mysterious narrative. character. Uh, so we talked about... Um, so what did we have to do? We had to get a script. Scri we made a script because we couldn't probably just say it. Off the top of, of, your head. Off the top of <laughs> our heads. So, um... And then we had to set, set up like a... We had to set up a place. But, um, it worked out very well and, um... I think it sounds good. Yeah. So that, that was a good, like a way of making the story a bit more accessible as well, wasn't it? Because, um... On the website, we've got it written down too? We've got it written down, but also people who maybe are blind, blind uh, can... Uh, hear it and people who are deaf can see it so um, we just thought the uh, inclusibility <laughs> of it all nice um, would be good yeah, because nice. that's what Turning Tides is all about okay. that's nice that is nice um, alright what about the, so the festival thing if you maybe we'll, we'll start to wrap this a little bit up because we talked for ages now um it's been interesting to hear what you What do you think was... So, maybe say, what did you most enjoy about organising it? And do you think there's anything you would do differently? Maybe do, do, is there anything you do differently? Start with that one. I think the interesting thing I would do differently is maybe have a bit more of, like, a deadline. Because uh, at the end, we weren't rushing... But we were <laughs> trying to get things done quite quickly, and yeah. um, I feel like that wasn't such a good idea. But hope, luckily, it went well. So, um, but that's I think that's really important, though, isn't it? And that's something you could do next in other year. parts of life as well. Yeah, right? because um, definitely rushing rushing things doesn't help. So, um, no, if you're going. For, uh, like my dad sometimes or my mum goes to shop and they forget their shopping bag and they have to buy a yeah, plastic true. one and that's not so good so um, 
just forgetting things isn't really good to do. <laughs> no. No. I suppose the same as you, because you're going to do your college stuff now as well. Yeah. So thinking, if you've got a deadline, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe plan like a few weeks ahead. Definitely. Yeah. But that's cool. So what, what, what do you enjoy the most though? And what do you think was like the best thing? I think thing what the interesting away? thing was doing like the logo. So that was quite interesting. Also just, I really enjoyed like the start of it all because I felt like um, the other, like in more in the middle of it, it got quite tiring because it was quite a lot of repetitive stuff. So, but yeah. So but that initial I get, coming up with like the ideas and yeah, so I I actually really enjoyed like the ideas a bit a bit more than just saying to people get on with your work really. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, but it's good though because I suppose you get to see the process of like how I guess that's how all yeah definitely all things work, isn't it? Yeah, that's really exciting ideas bit, and then it's the making it happen yeah. bit. Yeah, we should do it again then. Depends on if it's a virtual festival or not. Oh. But probably yes, I would do it because <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Good. Anything else? Don't think so. All right. Well, thanks, Joe, and we'll speak to you soon. Um, obviously, go check out Joe's cooking video and the whole narration, festival. the whole festival itself, um, which is up and ready for you all now. So next up, I was going to ask a couple of questions uh, about the planning for the festival. Um, so I think I'll direct these at you, Amy. Okay. Um, what was the hardest thing about uh, organising the festival? Hardest thing about planning a festival? Probably keeping everything within the time frames, like getting everything done within time frames is like really difficult. Mm -hmm. What did you enjoy about organising the festival? Um, learning new skills is one of them. Mm -hmm. what, what skills in the um, I edited know? my own video for it, so yeah. learning the skill of editing. Yeah, yeah. Editing, yeah, that's the right word. Yeah. It was really fun. And like to be able to work as a team to create something that like ended up as a really good end product. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Cool. Um, does it, do you think you'd do anything differently? If so, what would that be? I don't know, I'd probably have like more time because and obviously having it live mm. so more people will be engaged mm. rather than on it, the internet because people can watch it whenever they want mm -hmm. and it's not really fun because we're not sharing experiences <laughs> with each other as much as we would. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we're if we live were live. Yeah, so yeah. I definitely think when it comes to planning the live one, that will be more engaging for yeah. everyone. Yeah. Um, and I definitely this think we can have a, more people join in because they can mm. go, let's do this, let's have fun. Um, yeah. um, also with like a virtual festival, it's sometimes quite hard to see how many people are there sort of mm. engaging with yeah. them. Um, like whereas with a, a, a live festival, you'd have people physically in which yeah. place. So see an audience but yeah. with this it's more of an in, invisible yeah. of audience isn't it um, that leads us to the next question kind of um, what do you think the difference between organising a virtual festival and a real festival is? Um, I think the difference would be um, you wouldn't have to calculate all the like tech getting all the tech sorted mm. getting it all edited in time so you wouldn't have that problem. Mm. Um, and I think the times might be a bit um, more lenient or mm. maybe in a never scale a bit harder because yeah. it's not as easy to push back as a virtual festival would be no. if you had to push it back because you could just say it's been redone till that day, so mm -hmm. come and visit our website on that day. Mm -hmm. Whereas if it was a live one, you can't really push it back because it's like people are expecting to come on that day, day and yeah. it off for that day. So yeah. Yeah. And um, with the virtual one, it's sort of like always there as well, as yeah. long as it's on the website, I guess. Yeah. So you can do it anytime you like, so mm. it's a little flexible. Yeah. Thank you, Abby.
Yeah. Um, so I open it up to the uh, uh, up to the room. Then. What was the hardest thing do you reckon about organising the virtual festival? I suppose it's, it's been a really long process, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I suppose right from the very beginning, like working out what a virtual festival even is mm, and how yeah. you could do it and mm. what, what that would be like. That was quite difficult, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. I it's um yeah, doing the unknown. Yeah, it's the unknown. Something, yeah. something, something that we've not done before mm. and something that's relatively relatively new and, and popular. It's yeah. probably been doing been happening for a while but in terms of the, the popularity obviously mm. throughout um lockdown and, and summer in particular where festivals were taking place mm-hmm. that it's become a lot more popular but mm-hmm. yeah before that it was it was kind of just stepping into the unknown and um and creating something that's that's very much us mm-hmm. mm. and, and making yeah. that work yeah yeah I mean, what about you though? Because obviously you've you've done a lot of techie stuff. Yeah, I mean, like I've not really done any, any sort of like web stuff before, so that was sort of a new thing for me. Um, and but it's a good way to learn it because we're doing it like using it in a practical sort of way. Like um, I think yeah, learning it on the fly sort of thing was quite a good thing because just like I had to work out the sort of practical aspects of it. Yeah, so you sort of had things that you needed or wanted to do and yeah. you could almost like work backwards and go right or how do I actually mm. does that yeah, does that have like a focus to the things rather than yes is that what you mean yeah yes yeah that's exactly yeah. what I mean. <laughs> I started to think about what you're saying then yes yeah. uh, that's it yeah pretty much I suppose it was also trying to work out wasn't it like uh, I suppose what we wanted to do with it so yeah. that it covers like all the aspects I suppose of the turning ties, yeah. like you said a minute ago. Yeah. And working out how best to do that. Yeah, to keep it something that's us, keep it something that's accessible as well. Mm-hmm. Um, something that people can access. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think the the thing about it is obviously not everybody's going to be free for a whole day on a yeah, Tuesday, yeah. so it's quite nice that all of it will still be available <laughs> yeah, from our it. website. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I think that that makes that much more accessible. Yeah. Hmm. And you know, we would love to bring the festival to life. So that's that's you know, this is just us yeah. dipping our toes in the water, Thanks. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I suppose it's actually really it's well. almost as well. It could be like a an intro- bit Thanks. of an introduction, yeah. can it? To the turning times for people that haven't yeah. Yeah. like in the future you go, Oh, so what do you do? What are you about? Mm. You can always point out to the, the festival the page. Festival, yeah. yeah. Be like, <laughs> have a look at that. Yeah. We do all sorts. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and it, it shows, doesn't it, quite clearly all of the different things that we do. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Excuse me, well, yeah. Um, do you want another question? Yeah. Go on. What did you most enjoy about organising the festival? About organising the festival? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I really... More morning practice. You enjoyed doing the exercise? Uh, yeah. That's cool. What about the stuff before? Have you have you you did some stuff with Sam, didn't you? Yeah. And you're you're in the you're in the film. Which one? The the final uh, finale film. Uh, you were yeah. doing the oh, dancing, dancing, weren't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mirror. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, in front of the mirror. Um did you enjoy that? Yeah. What, um, did, what did you enjoy about doing that? That's good. Yeah? Yeah. Did you like being filmed? Film? Yeah. What mm. else? Um, you did the speaking last week as well, didn't we? Yeah. Did you, you, we recorded your voice? Yeah. To go over the film? Yeah. Did you like that? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Mm. Yeah. I really enjoyed that day as well, actually. What other four mils? Yeah, yeah. Tom yeah. Seven. The, the impromptu. Yeah, yeah. You were in a little bit of it, we're going to. Yeah, but I missed yeah. everything else. That's really yeah. sad about that. Yeah, team me. I think that was quite good. Again, it was kind of. It wasn't really. Well, like it was, it was planned, but we didn't plan to do it that day. So it was interesting trying to. Uh, yeah, when they off. No. Yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, on the afternoon. I. What have I enjoyed about the process? I've enjoyed. I've enjoyed because it's it's a lot of the stuff that we already do, isn't it? It's yeah. you know the turning yeah. tide sessions. It's what it's what yeah. we do. It's what we're about. Yeah. What's been really nice about 
creating the films for the festival is that it's been like everybody's celebrating that mm. and seeing people um, sort of have confidence with what they're doing um, in standing in front of a camera and talking about it and delivering yeah. a session with somebody and I think I think it's just that's been really nice yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I think with the writing, the, the, the story writing bit of it was really hard, <laughs> but it was really good mm. in the sense of like having that thing with the patient and thing, and then everybody kind of contributing little bits, and then you tell it to someone, and they go, oh, let's add this bit, or let's mm. do this bit to make this work, and then mm -hmm. you take it, and it felt very, um, yeah, collaborative yeah. over a long mm. period of time. I think that's it, and I think it's been really nice... Um, like on the Tuesday sessions, to have basically Abby and Joe leading the Tuesday sessions. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. I think that's that's been really nice. It's mm. it's nice that you guys have taken ownership and you you've made it something like really cool. Yeah. It's it's been really collaborative and I've I've really yeah. enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Should we do it from the other other side as well? What's the it might not be useful, but you could always cut out. What's the thing you've least enjoyed about the festival? The stress. Oh, you can do. Yeah. Stress? What's, what's, what's been stressful? It's like the fact of the deadlines and making sure it was all done mm -hmm. and making sure everything was where it needed to be. And of course, hitting the road wall. One of our videos can't be shown because it's copyright. Yeah. You've nodded your head. Yeah. Oh yeah, but I'm easily uh, an easily the stressed. The of the WhatsApp group at night yeah. time. Yeah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I think Joe was saying something about that earlier. He was talking about the like he really likes the and it's, this is in the podcast anyway. But he said he really liked the initial planning bit. He's like you know, but the middle bit, mm. not yeah. so much like it making was. the stuff happen, like giving people deadlines and making sure they meet deadlines. Mm. But it doesn't. I whole. guess it's like easy to come up with an idea, but then the, the bit in the middle was doing it, isn't it? Yeah, it's the hardest bit. And relying on other people uh, to do. And things, you know, you said yeah. people up to do stuff, and and when when it's done, that's amazing. When yeah. it's not done, that it's really hard. Mm. Yeah. Um. But do you, do you think Abby? Do you think you learned a bit from that though? Yeah. What What do you think you've learned from that that process in general? That not everything's going to be super easy. <laughs> Yeah. Like, there is going to be things like that that get really like, oh, I can't do this. But what do you just do? work through it and like, because yeah. in the end you end up with something amazing. So do you reckon that'll help for other things? Yeah. What would you do differently? If you, or would you do anything differently? If so, what would that be? I would do it on a Saturday. Yeah. Well, actually, they're hosting the day. Yeah. We did want to move it because the date was already set. Yeah. yeah. And it makes sense to do it on a Tuesday, but I think... Most, yeah. most people are probably back in work now or school. Yeah. Which is... Sucky. But then again, it's always there. Yeah, the totally. Yeah. Go back and look at yeah. I suppose that was, that was part of the problem as well, wasn't it? It was that, obviously, we were planning a lot of this... When for us being in lockdown. No, what was yeah. happening? Yeah. yeah. Um, um. Do we still? Do we know now what's going on with the whole lockdown <laughs> thing? Not really. No. <laughs> Locked up. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know. What else would? What would you? Hey, what would you? Would you do anything differently now that you're thinking about the um? Like the yeah. Stuff? The moving the date so it's a Saturday because I think more people would be free to engage. Um. Even though quite a lot on the Saturdays, my little sister always complains about having too much homework. So mm. yeah, again, it could be yeah. a problem if kids have got too much homework. Um, just the fact of maybe having like a bit more of a bigger team, mm. maybe do you know what, more jobs to get done. Do you know what I'd do differently? I'd make it a lot shorter and I'd make it all live. Yeah, maybe in like yeah. two or yeah. three hours instead of being over, over the whole day I'll, I'll do like we could have like two or three hours of like loads of things that might be a little funner things funner that's not no, 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 no the same sort of thing but have it live but, but doing a K 
condensed a smaller space, mm. Mm. so you can do it a lot quicker. And and maybe maybe like it it'd be like a YouTube thing, so people would see it and could engage with it more directly. Maybe yeah. then it being a, a a lot of pre-recorded things to yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah yeah. I think that was initially going to be. The plan was to do a lot of live stuff, wasn't it? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Like, oh, the plan was to have a live finale, but then yeah. that got completely cut because it was like, we ain't going to get it done. It's not going to get done. It's just organised. I suppose it's organised so, people yeah. in the day. Mm. But yeah, maybe, like you say, if we did it mm. shorter, mm. then that could be. Would you want anything to be different about it? No. No? No. <laughs> Alright. You just quite liked it as it is? Yeah. Day. Well, I think today, like, even though it's meant to be a festival, it's been like any other day, like any other Tuesday. I think, yeah, it's, I think it's, I think it's a bit more fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think, like, I think the morning bit was a bit more engaging because, of course, the aerobics, like, getting the energy. Mm. Yeah, and then, yeah, morning. Yeah. yeah, I'm really tired now after doing. But that. apart from that, and I think they? it's a bit like how Tuesdays were. Before we started doing the like hour and a half Zoom sessions, mm. like when before COVID struck, when we were all here, I feel like it's like that again. Yeah. But more. That's nice, though, isn't yeah, it? That's cool, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, because like you're not sat at a computer screen for one and a half hours. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm dreading about next week is like being back at the computer screen and like. <sighs> I don't. Actually, I kind of know what you mean though. Yeah. Not necessarily. It's been nice to actually. On the talk website. to people more face to face and watch things yeah. and just chill out and be like oh, I like doing that I like creating mm. that and like figuring out what was right yeah. about the videos what was wrong um, of the stuff we've seen already so we watched some of the um, some of the video stuff up until lunch earlier yeah. what did what did you like about what was your favourite thing from that do you think um yeah, the gardening one. Sam Perkins, if you're listening to this, I love your voice. It's so soothing. You nearly sent me to sleep. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but something about Sam's voice is just so like calming. It's like that motherly hush to it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like, oh yes. I like sleep. There's almost like a bit of a narration, wasn't it? Of, like, yeah. Of how everything's really, kind of changed and yeah. It's really yeah. well. That part of that video is really put well put together and like the way. Sam's performed it, actually, it's really good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing that. There's also interviews from other people in that video, and it's, Is it? it's kind of like listening to, to a Radio 4 yeah. program. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Maybe like you should Radio give Sam on the podcast, Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, mm-hmm. that might be a really good chat. What about you, Cher? What did what, what bits from the videos we watched this morning did that? Chicken. You liked the cooking, okay. yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Thank you, yeah. The wind. Window chain. The train. Oh yeah, the train with the windows. I <laughs> I totally forgot when when we were making that. I forgot about that. Oh, the train. Yeah. I know when I st- went to edit, I thought, oh god, there's train sounds on it, but it was all right. Oh yeah. yeah. I, I think, think really the train, loud, right? I think yeah. the train sounds give yeah. it the authentic. We're here. We're cooking yeah, the tea true. rooms. That's true. Authentications. Yeah. Uh, on. Did you? What about the way Joe was in that in that in that video? All right. Yeah. All right. Just, just all right. <laughs> I think he presented himself really well. Like he's was, done stuff like that before, most yeah. definitely. Must say, I, I haven't seen that bit yet. No. Yeah. I've not seen it yet. No. Joe's presenting his style was really good. Um, yeah. He kept calm and he didn't think that. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Tea room. What was the other bit we watched? We watched another bit. Um, um, well, we might not have watched it. A bit of the craft. We did watch. You watched a bit of the craft. Um, well, I was there when it was being filmed, and like it was really fun because we were just working together to make a cute puppet. I think. Yeah, they're there. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, those puppets. Yeah, they were good. Yeah, and it was fun seeing everyone put their own flair on it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, to see everyone join in and create something that mm-hmm. you okay. could say, I did this, and it's like, yeah, you did yeah. that. Yeah, that was nice. Mm. Um, that was a good day. Mm. Uh, and then the last question is, 
What do you think the difference between a organising between a and organising? Let me start again. So the last question is. Yeah. What do you think the difference between <laughs> organising a virtual festival and a real in inverted commas festival? So a real festival, like a physical festival. What's the difference? Between one's physical and one's virtual. virtual. <laughs> I guess with a uh, like a live festival in person, everything is live and mm. in person. Mm. Now, that you can have pre-recorded stuff to support the day. You can have video yeah. projections. Yeah. You can have you know a build-up like story thing to it. Yeah. But um, you you're performing live. You're with people in the space, so mm. you're live. Mm. You know, it's it's, it's more fun. No. That's kind of what... I, yeah, yeah, I guess it is. Cause Cause why, why is it more fun? Because yeah. you're able to, like, properly socialise with people face-to-face face and actually yeah. see their body language better of how they're reacting to things. That's true. Because yeah, with a screen, you may just see their face and mm. some people don't mm. express with their face. Mm. They express yeah. with their body language and, like, it'll be good to see their body language as well as their mm. facial expressions mm. of whether they like it or not. That's... Mm. I was going to say, some of it, because most of the filming, a lot of the filming that I was part of anyway, it, we did all of it like in one take. Yeah. But I quite liked that because it almost had that like real performative bit. Yeah, of, I like I mean, Rather than making it seem staged, so you're doing the same repeat over and over yeah. again. So like the storytelling, the um, puppet, you know, film yeah, yeah. thing. Yeah, there's a f- few funny outtake. outtakes on yeah. it. Yeah, like. we didn't take anything out because that was your lovely idea, wasn't it? I just wanted it all in yeah, because it was just it. ridiculous and it's like oh we can just we could just change yeah. change the speed or we could just you know, just see what happens really yeah because it was just so lovely and it was so funny filming it and it was a bit like slapstick wasn't it at times yeah. it was like, oh no I need to be over here but I also my hands up here and I can't do that but it's quite nice because um, the, the story was improvised in the first place mm. the story's the, amazing the, with the uh, Kia so I didn't, obviously didn't know he was going to do the voices. He no. just started doing voices that turned into a play rather than anything else. And then that was cool, doing the little hand movements yeah. and stuff. And then making all the props on the day yeah. as well. Yeah. I the love sheep, the avocado. The sheep falls in the Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's yeah. that? Yeah. What else would be different then? The live festival. What would, what would, what would be, be different between... So you know when you go to Chagstock... Yeah. What would be different between that? A music. And this one, more music. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? There is music in the virtual yeah. room, but obviously we haven't got yeah. up to it at this point. But When you go to Chagstock and you go and watch all the music, yeah. do you go with other people? Yeah, mum. You go with mum? Yeah. And with this one, you could, I guess you could watch it at home. Yeah. You'd be on, yeah. Your, on, in your own, on, your, mm. on your own. Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> this one, you don't have to camp in a field and get smelly. Well, you could camp in a field and get smelly make and a walk walk home. enjoy the virtual festival. Yeah. make a walk home. You can, yeah, because it's very close to your house. Yeah. yeah. Like, camp, don't do they? Yeah. I'd yeah. I'd camp in a field and get no. smelly. Do you think it'd be harder to organise a real one? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Moving you on. <laughs> um, you think, like for example, you think like a, to send a, a letter to the council about like noise. Um, yeah. To, like, to the health, health, health and like, health and safety. Numbers. There's a lot more variables. Cost. Yeah. Like, yeah. would it be something at cost? Because this one was free because it, it wasn't was, free. It wasn't was it not? No. No, that's what we got the arts money. So arts council. Oh. Funding. It wasn't free at all. It it still cost a lot of money to make. To make all no, free to um, as a, you meant? Did you mean free as in admission? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh this one is. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah free to attend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so whereas yeah, the live that. one would probably need more mm. funding, so more money, so which would lead to people having to pay admission probably. Mm. I suppose you also got to then think about like catering, I suppose, and like all the expenses. Mm. Yeah. Toilets, like, electricity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Chocolate. <laughs> Because of course, a bit with that four mils, we have our toilets, but they're four. Uh, generators. Getting generators. Yeah. Generators. And the other thing is that um, yeah. with, there's a lot of unpredictable things. So with with planning a virtual festival, 
your unpredictable things are people not getting their stuff done on time, people not starting their sessions on the right time, yeah. the internet not doing what you want it to, or technology yeah. not doing what you want it to. When you um, when you've got a live festival, you've got all of those things, mm. and then and then people, mm. and people are just you know they're they're, they're completely unpredictable. Yeah. Not not necessarily douchebags. Abs. They're just. People are unpredictable. People mm. will do things that you don't expect them to do. Mm. And that will either be amazing or it will be like, oh, no. Awful. <laughs> so I think, yeah, in that respect, the virtual stuff is, is a lot easier. Mm. I suppose you've also got uh, like, things like the weather. Yeah. 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 Weather. Loads of variables. Yeah. yeah. So science experiment. Mm. So that would be interesting to think about next year yeah a security as well that might be another thing yeah. that you need to take into account do you think you'd want to do it next year if we did a real one would you want to help have it not yet actually manager? I think maybe if it was a little bit further on because I don't think we're going to get our full lockdown much before middle of next year oh right um, but I think it's going for at least another six months apparently isn't it? yeah. um, it's probably going to be a bit longer than that yeah we'll have to mm-hmm. see but yeah, I would like to do it again, but maybe not as big of a role as I had. Because <laughs> no? uh, sometimes I felt myself like being like, I don't want to do anything, it's too much. <laughs> but I myself as my friend kept Equally, <laughs> do you not think, wow, you've done that? Yeah, equally, with some things I do, like the editing and the seeing people enjoying the videos and having it all planned and the website looking amazing. Yeah. Good sense of achievement, though. Mm. Yeah. Don't that can go on a CV. Go on, Tom. I don't have any more questions, <laughs> so... <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>